We're interested here in our lab at understanding the nature of addictive behavior and finding out what it is about, for example, gambling that leads to a compulsive need to gamble in some individuals that is very similar, in fact, to drug addiction. One thing that's obvious as soon as you step into a casino is just the level of sound and lights, lots of sensory stimulation. And we wondered if we put those kinds of flashing lights and sounds into a gambling game for rats, whether it would alter their choices. We actually have a little tune that plays and there are lights and the larger the reward, the greater the number of lights and tones it recruits. I was surprised at, not that it worked, but how well it worked because I think we expected that adding these stimulating um, signals, these lights and cues would, uh, would have an effect, but we didn't realize that it would shift decision making so much. It would make animals that usually would be good so much worse at making choices. We found that we could decrease risky choice caused by these sound and light cues by using a drug that blocks a certain type of dopamine receptor. And this particular drug has shown a lot of promise as a potential treatment for addictions. So by adding sound and light cues to this gambling game, we think we've created a better model of behavior relevant to gambling addiction. And the hope is by studying what makes animals choose those risky options will provide new insight into potential therapies for gambling disorder.